Hi, welcome to Norfolk Beekeepers. My name is Lee. Today we're going to be doing an inspection. First we're going to start with Hive 1. Now on the last inspection uh, I suspected that the Queen was there due to the calmness of the colony as they were queenless before. Now this was only due to a split that I made several weeks ago. Now to combat whether the Queen was there or not I did take two frames of brood from Hive 2 and place them into Hive 1. Three reasons really. One was to add a little bit more pheromone to the colony just to prevent any workers from laying if the Queen didn't make it back. The second reason is the age of the bees now uh, is starting to come on to like four or five weeks since the split. They come to the end of their lifespan so a few more new bees coming out of brood <coughs> would be very beneficial for them too. Also if the Queen didn't make it back and she was unsuccessful then that would also give them a, another chance of developing a new Queen. So we're going to take a look inside Hive 1 first and we're going to see how they're getting on and by indicating by the combs that we're going to check will tell us what's going on inside the hive. With hive number 2 last week we checked inside there and there was uh, plenty of food. I did feed them two pollen pâtés just as a just in case but they were doing very well. The queen inside there now is 3 years old. She was laying absolutely wonderfully. There was no need to change her. So uh, we're going to have a look inside there anyway just to see how they're doing. So just to make sure they're not getting overpopulated as the, the hive was doing very well. We're going to have a look inside there anyway. So we're going to start off with hive, hive 1. So let's take a sort of look inside the hive. Okay, um, what I'm going to do as I go through the hive is look for the new queen, hoping that she's in there. And if we do find her, then I'm going to go ahead using the uh, crown of thorns and a blue acrylic marker, which is the colour for 2015. I'm going to have a look inside uh, yes, the feeder I've put on. I'll just show you. This is a uh, rapid feeder, it's still filled with food, clearly they didn't need it, if they did then they would have taken that down inside the hive and they haven't. So a um, bit of smoke here and there. I'm burning cardboard inside this uh, smoker today but I'm going to have a bit of trouble getting it going properly. But we'll manage. I've got the hive tool again today. I'm going to use this to be escape. I'm just going to use it as a makeshift uh, hive tool. No queen under there. Start by removing the rear frame as usual. Small frame. It's not supposed to be in this hive, it's not actually made for this hive, but it'll do for now. first frame we're going to look at, I believe, is a frame of food in the last video. Still quite heavy. You can see there is still capped food on that. So they're not in need of any food. This would be uh, one of the reasons why they didn't take any sugar syrup down into the hive. So I'm going to take the sugar syrup away today as they're not needed. Again, another frame of food here. Not in need of any food at all. So, uh, the uh, third frame in. And through to the fourth frame. Still food on the fourth frame in. Next frame I'm going to take out, I believe, was the frame of brood, one of them that I put in here from Hive 2 last week. I'm going to have a look on here, make sure that everything's okay, see if there are any queen cells. I can't see any queen cells on here. So uh, that would say, oh, yep, there are queen cells on here. So last week during the last inspection, the queen did not make it back. So as you can see here, there are queen cells here. This is, this is a good job I put this in. This frame has allowed them now to build more queen cells as obviously the last queen didn't make it back at all. 
I cannot see any eggs in there indicating there is there is definitely no queen in there. I'm not going to do anything about these queen cells. I am going to leave them on there, let them develop their own. They're now capped. This is most likely to be the yeah, I think it's the eighth to ninth day they are capped. Now they will hatch by next week. I'm gonna leave this hive, I think, for about four weeks. I'm not gonna open it for four weeks, I'm just gonna let their do their business. After four weeks, should be signs of brood in their new brood and eggs from a newly mated queen. Again, this hive is very placid for a queenless hive. So, um, i check the second frame that I put in from uh, hive two. It's also had a full frame of brood on there. Going through it as I go, I'm looking for a new queen as I look, just in case. I don't think she is in there, so I'm not going to make much of an effort with it. A, you can see on the top of this frame here, this is all capped food on here. No brood in the centre, so the brood that was on there last week has hatched out. There many nurse bees on there. No signs of any eggs or any new brood. This colony is definitely queenless still. So um, no queen cells on this frame. I'm just having a look through it as I go. Definitely no queen cells on here at all. I believe the rest of the frames in here would be capped food and empty frames of foundation that I put in here from doing the split several weeks ago. On here again you can see plenty of food on this frame. This colony is not very strong, there's not enough bees in here as I'd like there to be. So uh, I may just drop another frame of brood in here. I'm going to remove one of the empty frames of foundation I'm going to use this frame inside hive number two as I replace it with a frame of brood. The reason I'm going to place another frame of brood in here is just to make sure that there is a pheromone coming from those frames and also that there will be new bees hatching as the hive gets older. I'll place a roof on this one. Come back to it in a short while. Just going to take a look inside hive number two. So this is the top. This is the crown board of hive number two. You see here that the bees have really enjoying that pollen pate there. May put this in after. We'll see how we go as we go through the hive. Got another packet of. Uh, Holland pate there. This is a queen like colony. See they are doing quite well I think. Seems to be a lot more bees in here. Can't really see them on the tops of the frames at the moment as I've just smoked them. I'll just smoke them again as we go. Don't over smoke. I certainly wouldn't like to be breathing it in. Let alone the bees. Removing the last frame of a uh, very well drawn out. This was in the original hive before I did the split. If you frame the foundation, foundation. Right, we're coming to a new frame here. This is a brand new frame of foundation. You can see they've drawn out plenty of comb. You see the queen on here. If you can see her there at all. Just uh, nice to see her as we go. Seems to be doing well. She's on this frame, so expect to see some eggs here, which there are. I can see eggs around this section here, so they're developing quite well. Now, what I'm going to do, I know she's on this frame. What I might do actually is just pin her to the frame using the crown of thorns, just to make sure I absolutely don't transfer her into hive number one as we transfer the brood over. I'm going to pin her in there like that. She can't escape. 
Just to be safe, always, when you do this, always make sure you don't squash her. You don't, you don't want to kill your queen. It's going to drop her back into there for a second, very carefully, so the crown of thorns don't fall off. Okay, on here, plenty of bees. These are nurse bees. There's a little bit of brood there in the centre. I see brood at all stages. May use this frame in hive one. Let's just take a look, another look at the other one, which is a centre frame to the hive. As we go, plenty more brood on there. Lots of bees. I think this, or the second one, let's just go have a look at another frame as we go. This hive is a strong colony, they're doing well. Another smoke. Take a look inside this frame. Oh, there's plenty more brood on that one. I think this is the frame we're going to use. It doesn't matter if it's all in stages. There's, there's two frames in there with eggs. They've started to develop a queen already. This is the frame I'm going to use. I was going to drop this into frame into hive number one. Excuse me for a moment. Okay, I've transferred a frame of brood into hive number one. Just to give them a bit of an extra start there. I'm happy with this colony. I can see that the queen is in there. She's doing extremely well. As for food in this cut, this hive, I haven't really come across too much of it just yet. What I'm trying to do is put the frames together. They're Hoffman frame self-spacing, and you tend to get a little bit of. Well, you tend to get a few bees between the the wood that meets on the frames. I certainly don't want to kill any. I don't like to do that. I'm going to place these all back together again, removing the crown of thorns, which has already been removed. Obviously, it's gone in there, it's fallen out. The queen is released into the hive there somewhere. There she is, she's, she's still on there, so we know we haven't transferred her, her over. Put her back in there nice and peacefully. Happy with this hive. I'm going to go ahead now, I'm going to close this hive up. I'm happy in there. There is uh, a little bit of food in there, not quite too much. So I'm going to put the pollen pates back on top of here as I close the hives up. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so the conclusion of today's inspection. Inside hive number one, as we know from the last inspection, I suspected that the queen didn't make it back. Though it was quite confusing because the colony was very calm indicating that it was queen right. But just by looking in there today, those two frames of brood that I placed in last week, there are new queen cells in there. I see two in there. I'm not going to remove one and leave the other. I'm just going to leave them both as they are. The queens, when they emerge, will sort themselves out anyway by killing one of the queens themselves. So uh, what I did as well, I, I dropped in another frame of brood from Hive 2 just to give them that little, little bit more extra so there will be new nurse bees coming out in the next week or so and uh, also they'll leave them now for four weeks let them carry on and develop a new queen I'll check that colony again in four weeks just to see if there are any eggs of brood in there and possibly to see if there is a successfully mated queen with hive two I checked inside there they're still having a go at the pollen pate in there there's plenty of brood queen at three years old is still doing very well so I've put the pollen pates back in there as there are lacking food inside there. Whereas hive one, plenty of food, but no queen. So that's today's conclusion anyway. Hope you got the gist of what I was doing there. Thanks for watching. Please like, share the video and uh, catch you on the next inspection.